finishing up this study on Satan, let's finally have a look at Satan's destiny. He will be cast out of heaven someday. Uh, at the moment, he still has access to heaven. Revelation 12, 7 says, Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. So he's going to be cast into a bottomless pit for a thousand years during the millennial reign of Christ. Revelation 20, verse 3. He threw them into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be set free for a short time. So according to Revelation 20, verse 7 and 8, he was going to be loosed for a short season to deceive men. It's like they never learn, eh? When the thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, and to gather them for battle in number. They are like the sand on the seashore. Revelation 20 verse 7, he will be defeated by Christ and he will be cast into the lake of fire forever. What a wonderful scripture to finish on this. Talk about hope, brother. When the thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations in the four corners of the earth, as I just said, to gather them for battle. Uh, they marched across the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of God's people, the city he loves. But fire came down from heaven and devoured them. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of burning sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet had been thrown. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Woo! Hope is alive. Bless. Hey, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Hope is Alive channel and click here or here to watch more videos. Anytime you like.